Nazarene, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much relaxed by his words and wondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. In this history, let us all pray for our mothers, our father. So here we are to pledge our lives to the Lord of eternity. Let us pray for all the children, our Father, and she gave birth to the firstborn son and wrapped him in in bands of load and laid him in a man manger because there was no place for them to eat. In this mystery, let us pray for all the newborn children. Our Father, Holy Mother of God, pray for our sinners, mystery, let us contemplate the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. When the time came for the purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn man shall be designated as a holy to the Lord. It has been relieved to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see the day before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Simeon took him in his arm and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace. According to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. In the fourth mystery, let us all let us pray for all the sick and suffering. Our Father, who art in heaven, from thy name, thy kingdom come. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Thank you. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, 